Hi guys. Hey guys. This is more of a serious video, which is a little bit different, but I wanted to talk about something that is kind of important to us and close to our hearts. Um, I guess I should just get right into it. Yeah, well, today is Sunday, October 15th, and we did something significant today, I guess, mm -hmm. that Lou had wanted to do in some way or another for a while, and just wanted to share it with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, October 15th is actually um, Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day, and I didn't know that until this year, you know, when we had experienced a miscarriage. And um, yeah, so I wanted to do something special. Um, we were actually invited to a church. They were having um, a remembrance service ceremony, I guess, for um, families who have lost pregnancies or an infant or a newborn or stillbirth and they, so we went to this church and we had a ceremony and it was really special. They actually planted a tree, which was really cool. And um, they played a really beautiful song. There was a poem and we actually wrote, you could go up and write the name down of your child who you lost, which we did. Um, we did name our child. I don't know if we said that, but. Yeah, we chose um, to keep it to ourselves. Mm hmm but just writing his name down it's just hard to see um, but it I just wanted to make this video just because I think it's important to kind of break the silence and the stigma that comes with miscarriage it can be something <clears throat> that I think a lot of women or families just kind of suffer in silence maybe they're afraid to talk about it or they, maybe they feel like it's not a valid thing to grieve. I don't know, but for me, I just feel like it's important to to talk about, you know, if that makes sense. Um, it's, and also for him, like for our baby that we lost, like it has been, I read this somewhere and it's it was like perfect to how I feel the most profound sadness that I've ever felt in my life and and it was a life that we lost and I can't not talk about it you know it's something that has changed me and will change the rest just the rest of my life and moving forward so I think I feel like I'm just ranting now at this point <laughs> but I hope that makes sense like I just feel like I Today's kind of a special day for us, so I wanted to make a special video because it it affects a lot of women and a lot of families, and we're probably not the only one that's... Definitely not the only one. Yeah, no, that's like taking this day to kind of remember, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, one thing that Lou had said earlier, um, too, in like shortly after, is that we weren't really planning on having kids and there's like sort of a, f a, f a confusing uncomfortable feeling about having the conversation around miscarriage when we ne we weren't necessarily planning on having kids but then when we found out we were pregnant we got super excited and then we lost the we lost little bean and then and then it was like profound sadness and it, it felt like almost because we hadn't, uh, it, it almost seemed like maybe to, to the outside that because we hadn't planned on having kids that it was less of a, of a grieving process or less of a sadness, but that's not the case at all. Um, mm -hmm. And it is, it is like strange that it can be an uncomfortable conversation, but it, there's like a huge, there's a huge sadness and there's a, I never had any sort of idea as to like how many women lose their their babies in in during during pregnancy and and stillbirth and and it's like it's like our eyes have been opened to this whole new terrible thing that people have to go through and it's yeah. like why didn't we know about it but I guess 
anyway, so it's it's um it's been it's a significant day for us to be able to remember the potential of the child that we were so excited to bring in to the world and just reflect on on that life. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, one thing that had come to my mind as well was um, just when we had shared that we were pregnant, we were only like six, six to eight weeks along when we shared with family. Mm -hmm. And it seems like such like, you don't share that early. Do you know what I mean? You don't, you wait until like the safe mark of 12 weeks and then you share with family just in case you miscarry. And I feel like I am so thankful that I got to share with most of our family anyway, that we were expecting because now I feel like I have that support group. I don't think I would have done it any other way. I just feel like it's it's such a weird thing. Like you tell people and they're like, oh, you're so early. It just feels like, I'm anyway, I'm glad in our situation, I'm glad that we did share as early as we did because then I have the support behind me. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like sharing early is, often frowned upon like you sh you need to wait until like a safe point mm -hmm. but there really there really isn't and I'm I'm just really grateful that I feel like it's something that I'm comfortable with talking to family and friends now because they knew we were pregnant if that makes sense mm -hmm. and we yeah yeah we had we had planned everything to share on here too so yeah. we had all this this like footage of our experiences that we wanted to celebrate somehow and uh, we did, we, we were able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and so that is kind of a nice thing to have to look back on when we remember that stuff. Yeah. So, and it was really nice that, that this local church sort of initiated the conversation around baby loss discussion and, and miscarriage and all that stuff because it's not, um, I, I don't think I've ever seen that in- In a church? In, um, not to my knowledge, but again, this is something new to us. So yeah, <clears throat> it was nice to see somebody initiating that conversation. So and um, showing that support, you know, like yeah, th that's helpful and for people looking for community around pain and loss. So yeah, um, that's it's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be lighting a candle tonight at seven. You said yeah, it's called a wave of light, I believe. Celebration where people all over the world just light a candle at seven for about an hour and just remember the lives that were taken too quickly. <clears throat> so we're gonna light a candle and remember our little bean. <clears throat> so we just, yeah, I guess that's, that's been our day. <laughs> We've just had a sort of a relaxing day, <clears throat> but it's been focused around just remembering, yeah, the life that we were excited to bring in that mm -hmm. was taken too soon. And even thinking <clears throat> of other women, other families that we've known that have yeah lost their pregnancy and family and friends. And... Yeah. So yeah, I just thought that we should make this day aware to anyone who may not know of it, and we are very sorry for all the other families and women who have who have lost their their little ones you're not alone <laughs>